Thankfully, things have settled down for us. We did have widely scattered showers and thunderstorms earlier in the day. Some of us got very wet and dealt with nasty weather while others stayed dry. I'd be remiss if I did not say Coulter Anstead is actually on the scene right now in Pulaski County, and we will have more for you coming up tomorrow on WSLS on those storms earlier across the New River Valley. But again, right now it's very quiet across the region. Maybe a few showers towards Kentucky, but we're looking dry here for the rest of the night as high pressure is already starting to build in future track showing that we are looking at perhaps a little bit of fog developing later tonight. Otherwise, on Saturday, looks like we'll be partly to at times mostly sunny. More sun north, more clouds south. In the morning, we're dry. However, as we head, say from around 2 to about 8 tomorrow afternoon, going into the early evening hours, we will have the chance for a few showers, maybe even a stray storm in areas south of Highway 460. So parts of the Mountain Empire, New River Valley, and south side areas may have a stray shower or thunder shower to contend with. Now, as we head into tomorrow evening after about 10 o'clock, we're really going to start to see things quieting down. Skies will be fair the rest of Saturday night, and then Sunday will be mainly sunny from sun up until sundown. Now, I will also show you that if you're going to the pool tomorrow, it's not going to be quite as humid tomorrow. Temperatures, though, still pretty warm. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 80s after starting out by around 10, 11 o'clock. Temperatures well into the 70s by then. Again, highlands. Southern Shenandoah, you're mostly sunny tomorrow. South side, New River Valley, you're partly sunny tomorrow. And after about 2 o'clock, south side, New River Valley areas, keep an eye to the sky. North of there, I think you're going to be dry. Now, I also want to let you know that you're uh, going to want to keep your eyes to the sky if you're a sky watcher because right underneath the moon, you're going to see a pretty bright thing in the sky. That would be Jupiter. Also to the south and to the west of the moon, you will see Saturn. And of course, we also have a uh, pretty big star in the sky, Antares, uh, which will be underneath Jupiter. So lots to see in the sky tonight. Maybe you'll even see a meteor tonight. But just know that the Perseid meteor shower peaks Monday night and Tuesday night of next week. Could be pretty active after midnight, but I will tell you that the moon is going to be very bright. So we're going to have something called moonlight interference that could actually uh, detract your viewing a little bit, even though we're going to see 50 to 80 meteors per hour. It's 64 right now in Hot Springs, 71 Withville, also in Lynchburg, Danville, and South Boston. It's 70 in Martinsville. We're tracking a lot of heat and humidity coming back into play for us. The heat, the humidity, after taking a little break this weekend, comes back in full force Monday, Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday. Why? Because the jet stream is going farther to the north. However, by late next week, the jet stream is going to go farther down to the south, and that will mean temperatures will start to drop off once again. Your forecast for tonight, we are looking at skies partly cloudy. We're looking at overnight lows tonight, mainly in the 60s, although the highlands will be in the mid to upper 50s. For tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, more sun north, more clouds south, less humid. In the higher elevations here in the 70s, everybody else well into the 80s. Extended forecast showing that we're going to be in the middle 90s Monday and Tuesday, mid to upper 80s Wednesday through Friday. A stray thunder shower possible Monday, hit or miss thunder showers Tuesday, scattered thunder showers Wednesday with a few leftover thunder showers on Thursday. So the middle of next week, we'll see a better chance for more rain.